Okay, the World Wide Web or the Internet is used for all forms of communication or functions from one individual to another. As techno technological communication styles and formats change and develop, one format in particular that is a constant reminder of where we've come from to where we're going is the format of blogging. Blogs are a format that has been constantly popular over the last decade and a half and continues to grow, to expand and develop. So let's furthermore look into the marvellous world of blogs and how they impact students, which are the next generation. A blog. Well, the word blog is quite commonly used in the 21st century, but what does it mean? The term blog is actually derived from two words, web and log. A web, web log can be submitted by anyone, anywhere, at any time, on any domain. So this is as long as the individual has chosen their own domain. So say Susie had her own blog, it might be susiehowes.tumblr.com. A blog is a great way for families to stay in touch when loved ones are living a fair distance away, either within the same country or overseas. With the advancements of technology and blogs, people are connected more so now than ever. They can share their memories, highs, lows and insecurities with not only family members and friends, but anyone around the world. The first blog was submitted on the web in 1997, and although a few men have come forward to claim the um, title of the first blogger, there is no actual confirmation of any name. So, if we're going to use blogs in the classroom, an excellent or excellent supervision must by the teacher must be given at all times, as well as clear guidelines for the students. So that way, the students um, research no indecent um, subjects, and they're only really searching for student-based or teacher-based blogs. For example, if a student is researching health and physical education blogs, we we'll want to make sure that they're not looking at uh, fit, uh, thin inspiration blogs, which are anorexia based blogs, but we want them to be looking at fit inspiration blogs, which are all about eating healthy and ex exercising healthily. Alright, for an activity for two minutes, um, we will get participants to write, reflect, and analyze one, in one paragraph how they can improve the effectiveness of blogging within their own lives within the future. So the QSA, or Queensland Studies Authority for Year 9, finds it applicable for students to, and I quote this now, reflect, reflect on feedback to analyze and improve their use of ITTs to describe the more effective use of ITT, ITTs in the future communication. So participants are to upload their final product to a pre-prepared blogspot designed especially for this seminar. Okay, so some questions you could ask yourself about why and how could blogs be useful in the classroom for teachers, parents and students could be is that they're a great source of commu for communication between teachers, students and parents, such as if parents are interested in what the children are learning during terms, that the teachers could post what the students are learning on a blog and give the parents feedback about what they are learning. Some subjects that um, blogging could be useful, for an example, science. It could be really helpful because teachers from all over the world who teach science could upload techniques that they could use in the classroom. And this could also be beneficial for teachers to branch out of their own school and get ideas from not only the other teachers in the school and in the country, but also from across the world, which is really huge. Also, there are very many positives and negatives of internet blogging. One of the main positives of internet blogging is that blogs provide a communication space that teachers can utilise with students whenever there is curriculum need to develop writing, share ideas, reflect on working undertaken in the classroom. It is beneficial for students for the future in teaching them how to use advanced technology by using the features correctly and this helps enable them to enhance their own learning. The use of technology in the classroom does not just have to be limited to technology classes, rather branched off and implemented into different curriculum subjects, such as English. For an example, students can keep their diaries and journals of everyday learning in a classroom in the form of a blog, while examples other than a blog can be used with structured activity related to a specific text. And one of the main negatives of blogging is that it can be a distraction for both students and teachers in the classroom. 
It can prove to be a distraction of learning if misused in the classroom. Not only distraction to the student who is misusing it, but also to surrounding students who are distracted from their own personal learning by the student misusing blogging in the classroom. Now, as an activity you can do in the classroom is tell the class to log on to a student blog. Most one of the blogs that it can be useful to students is www.diaryproject.com and not only is this a student blog but it allows students across the world to discuss issues such as sex, steam, um, drugs, family, their home life if they need to go feel comfortable talking to their parents and teachers about it. They can connect to students across the world who might be going through the same thing and teachers can share their ideas through blogging throughout the world. So very, it's a very good thing to use in the classroom. Blogs are a great tool for the classroom. Blogs are an effective way to communicate with students, parents and teachers. Blogs can be used to communicate classroom information. Information such as classroom rules and guidelines. Daily lessons and classwork can be posted on the blog to keep parents up to date about what their child is learning in the classroom. This is also a great tool to keep students up to date if they need to take time off school for any illness or any other reason. Teachers can communicate easily and effectively with any class and school information to their parents through their blog. It doesn't require a great amount of time to do so, so it saves time for teachers. Blogs can be a great tool to collaborate. Students can work together with their peers, teachers and other students from around the world, which encourages peer learning. Blogs are a great tool to reflect. Students to evaluate and reflect upon their own work and a topic in class or a general world topic. Blogs are also a great tool to write. Blogging provides a unique opportunity for students to demonstrate their writing and reading skills in a fun and engaging way. Blogs are also a great place to tutor. It provides extra opportunities for students to be further helped by their teachers and peers. It's a great way to communicate, classroom management, any classroom information can be uploaded to the blog. It also, blogs are also a great place to create an online portfolio. It's just another way for teachers and students and parents to keep a track of what's actually happening at school. According to the Australian curriculum, students develop ICT competence when they learn to investigate with ICT, which is using ICT to plan and refine information searches, to locate and access different types of data, information and to verify the integrity of the data when investigating questions, topics or problems. It also states to create with ICT, using ICT to generate ideas, plans, processes and products to create solutions to challenges or learning area tasks. It also states to communicate with ICT, to operate with ICT, which blogs do this. In the QSA, the Queensland Studies Authority, it also requires students to inquire, create, communicate with ICT and also operate ICT. Also, with ethics issues and ICTs, blogging covers all of these requirements. An important outcome of schooling is the competency for students to develop using ICT for tasks associated with information and access management, problem solving, decision making, communicating and creative expression, and empirical reason. Therefore, blogs are a great tool to be used in the classroom.